devastation at India's space agency as scientists lose contact to the Chandrayaan-2 only seconds before its landing. The spacecraft was meant to become the first ever to touch down on the unexplored south pole of the moon. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi came to see the landing from the control room. Later, he found consolatory words as he addressed the nation. For the last few hours, the entire nation was awake. We were awake in solidarity, in solidarity with our scientists who had embarked on one of the most ambitious mission of our space program. We came very close, but we will need to cover more ground. The landing of the spacecraft was also broadcast live on television across the country. Tensions were running high ahead of the event. The Chandrayaan-2 was successfully launched in July after a previous attempt was called off due to technical problems. Chandrayaan, which means mooncraft in ancient Sanskrit, spent the last few weeks traveling towards the south side of the moon. On Monday, the landing robot Vikram separated from the craft ahead of its planned touchdown. It was supposed to measure the surface and locate water deposits. India would have been only the fourth country in the world to achieve a controlled, soft landing. Its previous mission in 2008 ended with a spacecraft probe intentionally crashing into the moon. For now, India's ambitions to become a global space superpower appear to have suffered a setback. But scientists hope to get the communication to the spacecraft back up and find out what happened. And we're joined now by DW's Delhi correspondent Nimisha Jaiswal. Nimisha, the, the loss of contact doesn't mean the mission has failed, does it? Do we have any more information? Well, that's right, Anya. The loss of contact is with the lander and the rover. The orbiter, the third part of the mission, is still up and running. It will continue orbiting the moon for the next year and taking photographs of the lunar surface. We've already seen a Dr. few of these. But of course, the lander and rover were important because it would have made India just the fourth country after the US, Russia and China to successfully soft land on the surface of the moon and explore the southern pole of the lunar surface. So this, of course, has been a disappointment. Scientists continue to try to establish contact and also to find out and analyze the data to find out what exactly happened right when the lander was supposed to touch, touch the lunar surface. As you said, India was set to become only the fourth country in history to land on the moon. Just how significant would it be if this mission indeed turns out to have failed, also from an, an emotional point of view for, for India? Well, Anna, it's definitely significant. There was a lot of hopes pegged to this mission, and I don't just speak of the scientific community. It had also inspired uh, civilians in the country, school children as well. There were many projects. The launch was watched very closely. But after the, the ISRO, the space organization, lost contact with the lander, there was also an outpouring of support, not just by the prime minister, but by many other people on social media as well. India was, of course, trying to establish itself as an important player in the space race, but critics of the current government have also said that this was simply another way to distract from larger problems that India is facing, with a struggling economy, falling GDP numbers, job losses, and of course the conflict in Kashmir, the tense situation in Kashmir. So focus will be brought back to these aspects now that focus will shift from the moon mission. Now, if this does work out, what will happen next? Because Narendra Modi certainly has some ambitious plans, doesn't he? That's right, Anya. If this mission is a failure or if it works out, it will not dampen India's space ambitions in any way. ISRO, the space organization, was originally mandated to make meteorological predictions to help agriculture out, which it has done. But now it wants to take the next big step forward. There's already been a successful 
Mars mission, there's been a successful moon mission in the past, and India and the Prime Minister are hoping to put a man on the moon by 2022. Missions are also planned to Venus as well as the Sun. So ISRO will continue striving on, and it seems to have the full support of the government from the looks of it, from the response it has had from the government today. All right, Namisha Jaiswal reporting from Delhi. Thanks so much.